in your mind, Neff. Speak on it and then dump the trash and lock the back door like I asked you to a half hour ago. It's just... I grew up hearing all these stories about you, and I watched you playing chess with someone. And it doesn't seem to match up with the dapper dressing, golf and chess playing Negro you see before you, huh? I mean... Afghanistan? Special Ops? All those crazy black Rambo Fallujah stories? All the Street Fighter stories? Look, people tend to exaggerate things because they have a need to believe in myths. But the truth is, I am no Superman. I'm not even much of a fighter. See, it's your Uncle Cody. Now, he's the real badass. And you'll see that when he comes back here for good next week. And since he's my new partner at the bar, you'll get a chance to hear all of Uncle Cody's tall tales firsthand. But for now, you need to dump the trash like I asked <laughs> you to so I can get you back home. Because I do not want to hear my sister's mouth for keeping you out too late. A beloved Carmine's is now a fucking moolie hipster joint. Hell no, not on my fucking watch. Who wants this joint? Tell you what, I'm a businessman. So I offer 20K about what you paid, you pack up, set up in Bushwick or somewhere the fuck else, and all's well. Capiche? No capiche. You gentlemen have a good night. We're closed. Hey, asshole. You know who this is? Relax. Polly, I got this. What's your name, wise guy? Payne. <laughs> <laughs> How fucking appropriate. Yeah. Listen, Payne. I don't think you fully understand. See, this place has what you call sentimental value to my community. Many a great man have drank, bled, and died here. Now you take the deal before I take it off the table and beat your ass with it. Checkmate. <sighs> you know, I feel you on the sentimental thing. You see, I know the pain of a son whose father was nearly murdered in a bar he wasn't even allowed inside of. And for that man's son to grow up and one day own that very bar. You see, first, you should have taken no for an answer. Second, you already fucked up by shoving my nephew when you first came in here. I was gonna let that slide because he needs to toughen up a little bit. And third, I heard that Mooley comment. Not cool. <laughs> Judging by your little jailhouse shuffle and them fucked up clothes you're wearing, you've been locked up for a while. Well, let me hip you to a few changes since you've been gone. Faucets now come on by themselves when you put your hands underneath them. We've had a black and an orange president, and this ain't Carmine's no more. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. You clearly have no fucking idea of who you're talking to. Mm. And clearly, you do not understand the degree of a fuck that I don't give. Uh. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break your jaw for you. Lump you up for GP and then toss your ass out the window, because I've been thinking about changing that window out anyway. I'm gonna sleep Paulie Stream being over here last, so he can tell you what happened to you. That's after the cops throw you back in prison for parole violation on account of that 380 you're carrying on your right hip. But hey, you're smart for coming strapped. You made one mistake. Yeah. What's that? You let me get too close.
thought you said you weren't much of a fighter. I'm not. Fighting is the violent exchange of physical blows. It's technically not a fight if I'm the only one giving the blows. Get a broom. The cops will be here soon. If you teach me how to fight, I promise I won't tell my mom what happened. I told you I don't fight. Your Uncle Cody's gonna get you right. Pain. I'll be there as soon as I can. Thanks for the call, Arnold. Uncle Cody's not gonna be here on Monday. Breeze is waiting for you upstairs. Make sure everything's locked up downstairs. Okay. Arnold? Never expected to see you in Europe again, John. Yeah, it makes the two of us. Come on, we'll show you in. Updated a few things since you were here last. Yeah, I see. How long are you staying? Just until I bury Cody. If you need anything, we're here. I appreciate that. I'm making funeral arrangements for Thursday. Blanche and I'll be there. <laughs> She's still pulling up with you after all these years? No. Bless her heart. Not bringing him home? He would have wanted to be laid to rest here with the others from his team, Arnold. You should know that. Things changed, John. You should know that. Yeah. Now you run the whole unit, huh? Not just the unit. I run all the old units, John. I got the whole basket. Climate's changed since you retired. U.S., Israel, hell, even the Brits trying to disavow us, shut us down. But I want a problem with you, too. You ain't got to worry about me, Arnold. No. Oh, I don't want to relive the past, either. Let's just take care of your brother. You good? 100. Good. So, can you tell me what happened? Where do I start? Cody! Come on! Come on! She was the last straw. <laughs> Hell, even Cody's partner almost cracked, and he's seen some shit. Cody? Cody? Oh, fuck. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Ah! Yeah, Mason Bellows, yeah. Based out of Africa. A good soldier. Uh, 
bit of a loose cannon, but damn good sniper. Him and Cody made a great team. So what can he tell me about the investigation? Stop it, John. Come on, man. Mason and Cody, part of a task force created to infiltrate a new drug syndicate that's getting roots here in Eastern Europe. Brutal as hell. But I don't think they were even set up yet. That's why I signed ADS guys to it, so I could supervise them. And? And? You're retired, John. You run a bar. Let's keep it that way. My condolences. Vali Vibesco, Vicar SPD. I worked with your brother. Cody was a great guy. Were you too close? As close as you get on a task force. Me, Mason, Cody. Darling, would you please wait for me inside? You can go and get off your feet? Yeah, sure. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Look, I know your background. Everyone here knows your background. Either they worked with you or Cody. Or both. There is more to Cody's death than what it looks like. And it has to do with the murder of his confidential informant. Let me get settled first. Handle Cody's affairs. I'd like to sit and talk with you and Mason as soon as possible. Okay. Thanks for coming, Valley. Say I'm sorry for your loss, man. You going back to New York? Nah, man. I think I'm gonna hang around for a little while. Payne, I was there when they took him. They? There's a lot of devils in this town. Well, do you know where they are? Yeah. Gates are. 
Wait for me by the door. Guys, there's a lot of heat still on us. You better keep an eye out and call me for any problem, right? Okay. Yeah. I got two problems I need to get rid of. Where are you now? I'm at Frankie's studio. I was sailing big. Shit. Okay, wait for me there. I'm on my way. Hey, hey, come on, man. I gotta get to the freezer, get rid of these two problems. We gotta meet in the morning. Okay, I can meet in the morning. And bring the tape. It's time we show Briggs and blow this thing wide open. Okay. Watch your back, Valley. Be safe. What are you doing up here? You just missed an exciting round of word games with my sister and her husband. Sorry, Mason, about work. Hmm. Don't forget you have to drop them off at the airport in the morning. Their flight is at 8 a.m. Damn it, I completely forgot. No worry, I'll do it. And your daughter's in the middle of one of her marathon showers. Let me get her so she can say goodnight. Okay, I leave that one up to you. Okay. Okay, what do you want to do? <laughs> mm, no. 
You don't seem yourself lately, ever since Cody. You know, I never like talking about Job in too much detail. I know. I know. Just try to enjoy the rest of the night. <laughs> okay. Okay, I will. <laughs> For some reason, I go call the city. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> Damn, Mason, what the fuck? You're filling it up in here. Yeah, it's not me, sir. It's pretty fucking rough out there. Well, shit's a lot bigger than we both thought. Yeah. It has to end. I need you to tell no one, and I especially don't want Payne to know. Sir, he knows the ropes, and maybe he'll be able to help us. He just lost his brother. He's gone through enough. Yeah. Well, shit. I want to see you in my office first thing in the morning. You go silent for the night. Button it up. That's an order. Yes, sir. I know you're a tourist. Is that right? You're from States? What gave it away? Uh. Me? I'm Monica. Originally from Slovakia. Came to Romania for school and stayed. I wanted to be a doctor. Ended up as a dancer. Heard that story before. All right, all right. I want 
want to thank everyone for coming out this evening. Now, if you could all turn your hungry eyes towards the main stage for the next event, we have the mysterious Sky and her budding angels. Someone looks like they may be in some sort of shitless sky. Careful. I heard she wanted to be a lawyer. Yeah, I heard that story too. It's me. Mason. I thought I told you to go to ground. Yeah, I know. But I call Payne. I'm about to meet him right now. Stop! Now I know I told you to keep your mouth shut. No, I know exactly what you told me, sir. Okay, I know it's Cody's brother, and that's exactly why I know I can trust Mason? I, I, I can't do this on my own. This is Mason, isn't it? Stop it. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Good. Where are you meeting him? New York. Is that where you're at? What? You can let an ex know where you are? Um, baby, Sky, New York is not good for you. Yeah. Baby, look, you are a flower. Mm-hmm. And flowers don't bloom in the concrete. Yeah, well, I guess you're right. I kind of like it here. You mm -hmm. know, no hassle from the real world. Mm-hmm. Or fairy tale, I miss it. Yeah. That's your fault. See, you let me get too close. Thanks for coming. It's good to see you. Wait a minute, John. You didn't come here to see me? Of course I did. Hey, I'll, uh, I'll leave you with this. No way, no fucking way. You didn't come here to see me. You came here for work, didn't you? Babe. Look, forget it. Forget it. Fucking bastard. Same old problems, huh? Good to see you. Yeah. Guessing you're here because you want to know what happened to your brother. So what do you know? Not enough. Well, let's start there. Fight, come on. It's about a girl. Always is, isn't it? Shut your mouth. Mm. Have a nice day. <laughs> Go 
this guy? You good? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Hey. No means no, motherfucker. Now get your shit, get this earless motherfucker, and get the fuck out of here. Yo, man, your ear. You okay? How are you feeling? I'm okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. All right, now go home, clean up. I'll see you later, okay. all right? Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, you okay, man? I was about to come check on you. <sighs> it's all good. Somebody just wanted to lend me an ear. This is McKellen 25 from Luther. No buns. Thanks, babe. Thank you. Right now, you're the only one I know I could trust. Same. Hey, look. Your brother and I are working the Toro case. I saw the Amber. And now it's just me and Babesco. Valley, yeah. I met him at the funeral. He wanted to talk to me about something. For good reason. Look, Valley uncovered a tape of a hooker getting killed by a scumbag, Joe Big. He's a capo in the Toro syndicate. He's a dark, sadistic fuck. Anyway, the tape shows they handcuff her pimp to another hooker, barely out of her fucking teens. The sick fuck blows them both up on tape. Valley shows the tape to your brother. Cody does not take it well. Goes after Vic. There! See that slimy fat fuck he's talking to? Tattoo? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm That's Frankie Fine. Runs the club for him. He's also got a dance studio down in Parsta. And Joe Vig, he comes in every Monday, Thursday nights. Check on the new town that Fine brings in. They say they're using the dancers as drug mules for Toro. All the girls here, dancers, singers, all of them looking for a way out. New, fresh fucking face they can use. Now, your brother said he had evidence proving that Toro was behind the whole fucking thing. Said he got mailed the evidence by an Anash Pulaski. Problem is, I think your brother hid the evidence. I've been looking and I can't find shit. Yo, yo. Uh, listen up. Any of you young ladies in the crowd think you have what it takes to be on my stage? Come see me right here in the cabaret club. We have a meeting with Briggs in the morning, Valley and I. We're gonna show him the tape here. Cody's gonna. I hope you have better luck finding what he left than I did. Listen, Payne. For real. You watch your back, okay? See you. What are you doing here, sir? What part of going silent tonight did you not understand? <sighs> so what was this? A fucking social call? You and John just blowing off some steam? Yeah, I guess that was it, sir. Yeah, that was it. And frankly, I'm starting to feel I'm the only motherfucker trying to solve this case. Enough! Look, this thing's turning into something bigger than Cody's death. Bigger than either one of you could possibly fathom. You got it? Yes, yeah, sir. It's Blanche. I guess you should take your fucking call. 
Blanche, I told you this case is a nightmare. Blanche, I know it's the holidays. Don't you think I'd rather be at home? Give me a second, hon. Don't fucking test me, Mason. I'm out of fucking reasons tonight. I'm on my way home, babe. We're on the same fucking team, Briggs. We're on the same fucking team. The fuck is that? Your hiding places never change. Thumb drive. Nice. You have no business to open your mouth about us, Ash. I thought we were amigos. But Kofi says something different. Not to mention you pissed off Toro. You ratted me out, Ash. Now where's my money? Please, Toro, please. Please, take his life, G. I'll kill you, idiot. You almost made me rip out the truck. And I'm not up to that part yet. You look like a fucking jack-o'-lantern. Makes me want to put a candle on his mouth. Consider this your first warning. Next time, someone else might be on that chair that has to pay the thing. That's enough! Now, your brother said he had evidence proving the Toro was behind the whole fucking thing. He said he got mailed the evidence by an, an astrological. <laughs> Why'd you leave me on this? To 
this word. Good evening, ladies. Gee, I hope I didn't startle you. Joe, what's up? The guy tonight at the club. Back table. You both seem to pay him some really good attention. Who was he? He was just a customer. Sorry? He was just a customer. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Did it hurt you? You think I'm fucking stupid? I look fucking stupid to you. I asked you one simple question. Joe, no, he's my ex. He came to... To what? To your rescue? Breaking off arms and hands? Just a customer, huh? I believe you owed the house some money that was taking off some patrons. Yes. I see everything. And so do the security cameras. Now talk to me. I don't, I don't know anything no, about no, it. No, 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 no. You see, you don't lie to me, bitch. Guy, run! No, not here. Go get them. This is gonna be fun. Mason, what the fuck, man? Oh, I gave you the fucking keys, bro. Hey, get me up. Oh, fuck. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, usual day. I got hit by a car. I fucked up by you. Fuck. Could have knocked, man. I almost killed you. Well, join the line, man. Everybody's trying to do that lately. Oh, fuck. Oh. Is that Joe Vig? No, he was still at the club when I, when I left. It was someone else. Someone else, huh? Yeah, fucking guy in a cowboy hat. I, I couldn't get his face. Toro, right? Yeah, it has to be. He's a cold, heartless fuck. Pretty banged up, man. Hey, you want a beer? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh. <sighs> Feet? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Just like your brother. <sighs> Cheers. Oh, fuck. Payne, I think they killed Valley. What makes you think that? He said we're gonna meet this morning. He never showed. I can meet in the morning. Valley always shows us just the way he is. He said he was gonna bring the tape, but the girl and the pimp gonna kill He called his cell phone. Nothing. Same with the house. Listen, man, Toro tried to kill me twice. He thinks I'm dead. Valley would have been the last one. Nah, man, there's one more. Me. Tell me about this uh, Ash Pulaski guy. Ash? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. That. 
he was your brother snitch. Well, at least he was until they found him dead with a hole in his face where his mouth used to be. Yeah, check it out. Okay, what we got? Oh, look at this. That's Pulaski. Where'd you get this? Cody. Yeah, it's enough to fry Joe Vig. I watched this thing like a hundred times, and there's nothing on Toro. Yeah, can't identify him. His voice is disguised. He's. I tell you what, he is. he's the same fucking scumbag that ran me down. Look at that stupid hat. That's enough. Yeah, I've never seen your brother like this before that night in the garage. Look at that. So, so out of fucking control. Wanting Vic. But he was determined. You know how he was. <sighs> Fuck, man. I miss him, man. Cody ever talk to you about his girl? Lacey. Yeah, at least he loved her all the time. How about her sister? <laughs> this place is cool. Mm -hmm. Can we take a look at this last one before you have to head back? Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> but would you be upset with me if I wait for you here? No. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay, go on then. <laughs> Love you for taking me to lunch. You're welcome. I am going to ace that history test. I know you will. <laughs> She looks just like you. You know who I am, right? How long were you and Cody, uh... Married? Just for a short while. I loved him. He wanted to save me, you know? Yeah, I know. But from who? Hey. <laughs> I know you. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Since you were this big. <laughs> yeah, now I'm grown up. Nice to see that. You worked with Uncle Cody? I did, yeah. You doing okay? Yeah. Great. I miss him. Me too. Frank is the one that dragged me into their world. Told me if I don't help them recruit girls, they will destroy everything and everyone around me. Joe Vig is crazy, but Toro, he's the devil. It wasn't until I agreed that I found out what they really do. Traffic drugs. I wanted to get out, but Vig made it very clear that if I stopped, they'll go after Erin. My sister is 15, John. Who knows what they would do to a 15-year-old girl? Is there a place you can take Aaron? Disappear for a while? I tried that before. Toro did that? It might as well have been him. Vic does the hitting. It's his thing. They gave me a few hours to see Aaron. I have to get back soon. There's a major shipment going out. Frankie has the girls. You should take care of yourself. Yeah. You too. Thanks. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Come on. I'll walk you to the train station.
Bye bye, bitches. How does it feel to watch the ones you love suffer? Knowing you're glued to your screen help. You must be upset about Sky and Monica. They were a blast. <laughs> Tough guy, huh? You think you have the balls to come in here and get me? Do you know how protected I am? Cops are all dead meat. You just don't know it yet.
deserve. Please don't kill me. Look, I just run the club. Everything you see around here, that man forced me. I swear it. What man? Toro. So you've seen him? He pops him in and out from time to time, but he's always cover up that weird voice of his. Frankie, fine. You'll do as I say. Comes here for Lacey, please. Lacey, love? That man is obsessed with her. He will never let her go. Lacey will tell you. Oh, shut the fuck up. Go. Get in there. You're Toro's girl. What? No. Tell him that. You have to believe me, John. I loved Cody. Toro, he's crazy. He thinks I'm his, and I, I never... I swear to you. Okay. Okay, I'll help you get out from under this. But I know you know who Toro is. So I want you to set up a meeting for me. Tonight, at 8 o'clock, at Mogoshwire Palace. Right outside the city. Tell him I have his five mil. Tell him Joe Vig is dead. Frankie Fine is dead. Uh, All he has to bring is you. Tell him the trade is you for the money. That's the only way he's gonna come. Now you say you love Cody, right? And you'll do this for me. Oh. And tell him, if he fucks with me, I'm gonna send his ass home. Oh, hey, I was just about to call you about Christmas dinner next week. You think you can make it? Uh, hey, hey, um, Arnold, I, I need your help, man. I just set up a meeting with Toro. Toro? Yeah. It's, it's impossible. Look, I came across something Toro wants. I'd like to make a deal with him, but I need backup, okay? Uh, see, Arnold... I just want to give Toro what he wants and free Cody's wife. That's all I want. Toro has no connection to Cody's death. You're mixing up two different things. All this stuff and Lacey love and... I, Arnold, I just, I just need your help. Just you and some of the old ADS guys to cover my six while I make the exchange. You can have all the credit once we catch Toro. I just need her out. That's it. That's the deal. Briggs is out. It's just us. You sure you're down for this? Cody's dead, Payne. Team's dead. It's just you and me. So, yeah, I'm down. When and where? And how many of these motherfuckers have I got to kill? said to be so deep that no one could see the bottom. Since then, they say animal-human hybrids were reported to have crawled out of it, and dark-winged otherworldly creatures flew in the vicinity. If this is the gate to hell, it's time to slam that fucking thing shut.
pain. I have vision on you. You cover. You find high ground? Affirmative. <sighs> Hey, we got bogeys. Two vans in a car. Are they breaking off? They're flanking us. Yeah, I figured that. Keep me posted. Van headed to you. Less visual than the other two. Move it. Second position ready. Two players pulling up to you now. About six on foot on the ground. I need you to spot them for me. Affirmative. Brought your brother's new whore just like you asked. I know you're out there somewhere hovering among the dead. Anything along the outer wall? Negative. Moving to the south of the palace. Copy. You out there, Pain? Among the dead? <laughs> A fitting grave for John Pain, who walks among the dead. Did you know that, John? John Payne lost among the dead. Did you know that? How'd you know that, Toro? Coward! Come out! Still no sign of him. The outer wall is clear. Wait, sir. We have something. We spotted a shooter in the northeast mezzanine. You said yet? Payne. I got him painted. Say the word. Hey! You want to be out here? Take a shot. This is for his family. <laughs> this is for Monica. That's the valley. And this for his family. Too late for running. Let's do this. Where's my money, Payne? It's in the chapel. Let her go and I'll take you to it. It's in a briefcase. Five million euros. Fuck. Let her go. And I'll show you where it is. How do I know you're not lying about what's inside? When I get the money, you get the girl. A Joe Long. Do you have a shot? I got him. I got you painted, motherfucker. Sir, we have the shooter located. 
finally. Take them both out and end this. God, look out! Focus on your left. It's over. Throw the weapon in the pit. Nice trick, Arnold. Where's the case? So, what's gonna be the story this time, Mark? No story necessary, John. I'm done. Everybody's dead, including Lacey. I'm gonna collect my five million and disappear. Now hand over the case. Well, you're gonna disappear, all right. You know I already figured out it was you. How long you known? Well, the hat was cute. But not many people are running around with Pearl handled 1911 with our old unit insignia on it. Not too smart, Arnold. What are you thinking? Think you're just gonna disappear? How do you think this is gonna end? John the Legend Payne killed in action. Toro evades authorities. Sucks, because I was damn close to getting him. Now hand it over, Payne. Looking for me? Oh, yeah. I'll gut you just like I did, Valley. Just like I did, Valley. Here's what we're gonna do. Tear Val's home apart. Just find my money. circles coming up empty you could have reassigned everybody why didn't you just do that why kill them why cody she loved him i wanted her to love me simple he had to go that wasn't business that my old friend was truly personal <laughs> Give me the goddamn! 
your case. They all had to die because of your obsession with a woman that you couldn't have? All pawns, John. <laughs> being a pawn in somebody else's game. Decided to run one of my own. Now save me the trouble of wiping the blood off that. Throw me the fucking case! <laughs> Try to shoot me, but it's not gonna stop. Me. And then, then we're gonna fight. It's not gonna go your way. Too close, Arnold.
I'll be with you in a minute. Please sit whatever you want. Hello, Adina. <laughs> well, I am Adina Smith. Not to be mistaken with the other Adina who works on the night shift. That's good. Yeah. My doctor says it's a good therapy. You know, going outside, <laughs> talking to people, <sighs> interacting. That's good. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> you mentioned a doctor. What happened to you? An accident. A car accident. <laughs> my husband would have killed me if he heard me giving out all my information like that. Sounds like a very smart man. He was. But he left me a gift. Um, oh, wow. So, what can I get you? I'll just have coffee. Okay. Oh, Adina, may I borrow your pen? Sure, John. I'll be right back with your coffee. find yourself passing through New York? Look me up. The place that used to be called House of Pain is now called Cody's. Until then, John. Cody would have wanted that, bro. Yeah, now it's done. to the peace and quiet of my own bar. Right. Well, now, now I know where to get free beer when I'm in New York. Yeah, for sure. What? Peace and quiet, huh? Well, I heard you redecorated the bar with a couple of goons before you came out here. Huh? Cedo Brothers. Mm-hmm. I know. What I heard was you beat one with his own gun, the other you threw to a window because you were gonna change that shit anyway. And my favorite part, you told them how you were gonna kick their ass before you kicked their ass. 
there ring any bells? Well, you know, people tend to exaggerate things because yeah, they have this. I know. Did you did you have a fight already? A fight? But hey, a fight is a violent exchange. Just a man. Peace and quiet in my ass. You want that beer or what? <laughs> So ADS, they asked me to take over.